Hello, this is Bruce Malick, State Senator for District 12, with an update on the state's budget and the coronavirus in Arkansas. I'm here at the corporate offices of Farmers Bank and Trust Company, where I work. The Arkansas legislature is a citizen legislature where many of our members have other jobs, and I think there's real value to that. We have doctors and lawyers and teachers, bankers, farmers, and other occupations, and I think each one adds their own perspective and expertise. As a banker, I'm interested in the budget process. I served as the budget chairman when I was in the House, and I've been on the budget committee ever since I've been in the Senate. Each month, we get a revenue report, and we've just received that report from May. Now, back in March, the governor cut the revenue forecast by $353 million because of concerns about the coronavirus impact on the economy. Now, when that revenue forecast was cut, uh, we had funds that were also cut from state agencies and colleges and universities. And since we've received both the April and now the May report, uh, we have been impacted, but not as much as we thought that we might. Our Revenue in May was $12.8 million below where it was a year ago, but it was actually $80 million ahead of where we were uh, on the revised budget. Uh, the two main income drivers for our revenue are income tax and sales tax. The income tax was actually even higher a little bit than last year, uh, but it was also $48 million above budget. And then the sales tax was slightly less than a year ago, but it was $16 million above forecast. Our fiscal year runs through June 30th, so we've had 11 months. And so far, we are $287 million above the revised forecast. But now let me put that in perspective. In March, the forecast was cut by $353 million, so we've made up $287 million of that. Uh, we, we're not where we thought we would be when we started the fiscal year, but we are much better off than we were concerned that we might be uh, when we had to revise the forecast back in March. Now the question is whether the governor will revise the forecast back up before the end of the fiscal year, or whether he'll just leave it alone. And let me tell you why that matters. If the governor does not change the forecast, the money that accumulates just stays in the surplus, and it can't be spent until the legislature is in session. If the governor does revise the forecast upward, money can flow again to those state agencies and colleges and universities, and they would be able to replace some of the funds that got cut back in March. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I expect the governor to make some decision on that within the next uh, couple of month, uh, couple of weeks. Now let's look at the uh, updated numbers on the coronavirus in Arkansas. As of June 4th, we've had 8,425 cases. This past week, we've averaged over 250 cases per day. Certainly, our seven-day rolling average is increasing. Uh, some of that may be because of increased testing, and fortunately, our positivity rate on testing has stayed below kind of a benchmark of 10% that we hope not to exceed, but uh, certainly the numbers are concerning, and we need to continue to follow the precautions that are recommended. Let me close with a comment about the George Floyd case. Uh, you know, what happened in Minnesota was a real tragedy. Uh, it was wrong. And I understand people being angry with that situation and knowing that changes need to be made. I certainly support everyone's First Amendment rights. I support peaceful protest uh, about that situation. But the violence and the destruction of property is not the solution. As a matter of fact, I think it takes away from addressing the issues that we need to address as a nation. I recently posted a statement from former President Jimmy Carter on my uh, Senate Facebook page. I agree with that statement. I would invite you to go there and read that. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope you will join me in praying for our state and praying for our nation. I want you to know that it's a real honor to represent you in the state Senate. If there's anything that I can do for you, please contact me.